breathing yourself slim is the subject of today's video my name is jody and welcome to today's video we're going to be talking a little bit about breathing and also about face masks today uh, so as always, it's the Sunday, it's the big live uh, where we're going to open up a subject and I want to hear from you guys. So tell me what you think about this. Can you lose weight from breathing well? Tell us your experience. How are you getting on wearing your mask? Now, for those of you that have done any research on weight loss, I want to ask you this question. How does the fat lose our body when we lose weight? So like, how, scientifically, how does that fat leave our body? A lot of people think we wear it out. A lot of people think we sweat it out. Uh, some other people think it just magically disappears into the air. So how does that fat, so that physical matter from our body, go? If you want to just Google it, you'll, you'll find out why. And the reason how our body loses those physical particles of fat is... Oh, my well, doesn't look too nice. It's through breath, okay? So if you've got any breathing problems, um, if you often wearing a mask 24 hours these days, obviously your weight loss is going to slow down because the less you can breathe properly, the less chance your body of getting rid of fat. Uh, so this is what I wanted to talk about tonight. Now there's only one change to this rule. So as I said, all like exercise, through diet, if you do all these things to lose weight, then you lose weight through breath. However, there's only one little asterisk to this rule, and that's if you do the keto diet. Now if you do the keto diet, you actually wee away ketones. So in your wee uh, is very dark uh, particles, or not dark particles, but your wee looks darker because these ketones are being weed away. So that is the only one exception to this rule. So if you're on the keto diet, turn this video off now because this is not for you. But if you're losing weight with diet and exercise and a calorie deficit and just healthy eating the normal way, or you're doing Slimming World or Weight Watchers or whatever you're doing, then you are breathing away your fat cells. So what I'd like to explain is if you're like this for many hours of the day, obviously your breathing is being restricted. Therefore, uh, you should bear in mind as often as possible, if you can do that and go outdoors, then great. If you can't do that, obviously for health and safety and, and, and it's fine. But as much as you can, try and breathe as much as you can. Now, why didn't I say do that? Okay, so this is where the yoga person inside me, if you listen to your yoga teacher outside, she'll actually say, when you do yoga, do yoga wearing a mask over your mouth. Why? Why, Jody? Why would I do yoga with a mask covering my mouth? That is because if you speak with any yoga expert, they will tell you, you should always breathe through your nose. God gave you a mouth to eat with. He gave you a nose to breathe with, okay? Um, now, because of genetics, I've got a tiny nose, so it's actually quite hard for me to breathe through my nose, especially when I'm exercising. Um, but as I said, ideally, if you can breathe in and out through your nose only, this is great for your health uh, and obviously great for your body and your rib cage and everything. So just bear in mind, the more you can wear your mask like this when you're not in a restricted area, then it's great because it also trains you and pushes you to breathe through your nose. Right, guys, welcome to the live video. I'll just do a quick hello. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Joan. Hi, Kay. Hi, Helen. Hi, Ismail. Hi, Tracy. So, yes, this is what we're talking about tonight. How do you lose weight? How do those fat particles leave your body? And the answer is through your breath. So every time you breathe, you're actually breathing out those fat cells. So the more you can do big, deep breaths, the more you can get into yoga, things like that. Uh, and also just getting out and about in the fresh air. And this is why exercising outdoor helps so much, because obviously you do take in the fresh air and you do breathe more because you... You know, when you go to the sea and you see the beach and you just want to breathe in that sea air and just get your digestive system and your breathing system going. Trace is saying hi, wave, hi, Marie. 
Um, so what do we think of that, guys? So again, if you think about that same system that we're, we're breathing out that fat, then that would also make sense on one of my other videos that I've done before is why does your breath smell when you're losing weight? And exactly that is why your breath is smelling when you lose weight, because the you're actually taking out all those fat cells and you leave all those toxins are leaving your body um, and they're not stuck in your body. So it is a good thing if you have smelly breath and you're losing weight. It's a good sign, guys. It means you're doing a great thing. Uh, hi, Islam. Welcome to the live video. Hi, Jane. Hi, Tracy. So what is your experience with this, guys? Have you noticed smelly breath or, you know, smelly tastes in your mouth? Because as I said, this is actually a good sign uh, that your body is releasing fat. Welcome, Sarah, to our live video. Uh, and I was just saying earlier, for those of you just joining us, the more you can, just, well, if you're wearing a mask a lot, the more you can just have a break, go outdoors and just breathe through your nose, uh, the more chance your body will get to release those fat cells. Um, are you doing keto? Did you find you lost lo lost more weight on keto than not keto on a regular diet and fitness plan? Um, some people like it, some people don't like it. As I said, uh, it really does depend on, especially if you've got any sort of lung condition, any sort of breathing problems, um, which will hinder your weight loss with standard diet and exercise. Doing keto for you guys and actually weighing out the fat would actually be more helpful. And you may find that you lose a lot more weight with that because you're using a different system to get the fat out of your body. Um, but yes, did you know, that? Well, that's the, my big fact today, did you know that we lose weight by breathing out those fat cells? Did you know that? Come on guys, leave me a comment if that's a surprise to you. If you still don't believe me, have a little Google guys. Uh, there's some, the reason I came across this was when I started keto, um, you know, I started to Google why, why is, why does the we go so weird? Uh, and obviously that's when they told us that the uh, ketones are actually being released through your we. And that's when I found out why normal fat loss and how it is released. So Trace is saying no, she didn't know. <laughs> I'm just swinging around my mask, guys. Sorry, I'm playing. Um, but yes, that is, uh, it's probably because it's not an interesting fact, is it? But if you smoke, or as I said, if you have any sort of issues with your breathing, especially why COVID's on as well, COVID causing a lot of breathing issues, then obviously it could be a, a uh, solution to why maybe you're not losing weight now when you did currently and you're doing the same thing. Tracy, yes, you're breathing through your nose now. So yes, it's quite difficult. If you've never done a yoga class before, if you've never tried nose breathing, it is quite difficult to do it. As I said, this is where wearing a mask and physically stopping yourself breathing through your mouth is actually a helpful thing. Um, so again, try and close your lips and just breathe in and out through your nose. It does get quite getting used to and yet, I don't know about you but I just feel so hot and restricted in mass so I can't do it. The other thing you can try as well which is a good exercise for uh, nose breathing is called piston breathing where you cover up one nose and you literally just breathe out through your nose. Not only does it clear it, it just gets your, your body used to, to pushing out through your nose. That's called piston breathing. So again, just clearing your airways and making you able to breathe. So we'll finish off today with a little bit of an exercise. We're gonna close our mouths and we're just gonna do 10 big deep breaths together in and out through our mouths. Are you ready? I'll count with my fingers. Breathe in.
Now a yoga teacher will do that far more elegantly than me. But there was a little example of just getting into breathing with your nose uh, and obviously doing it in a relaxed position, just lying on your bed with some soft music on where you can really relax and just feel your chest up and open. That is the best way to do that, guys. Right, so that was my top tip for today. Enjoy breathing, focus on your breathing. And as I said, it might, it might just help you increase your weight loss as well. That's it for me, as always. Give us a like, give us a share, give us a comment. And if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe now.